What's good, YouTube? Gabby Point 92 here, back again, once again. And today, people, today it's Thursday, so you know me, it's another Pokemon Top 5 all lined up and ready to go for you guys. Now, last week, we had the choice to either Top 5 Psychic type Pokemon or Top 5 Ghost type Pokemon. And even though a lot of you guys probably can already tell what my number one Ghost type is going to be, I'm not going to spoil it, I'm not going to spoil it. Top 5 Ghost type Pokemon did win now this week's top five as well as any type five that i do is not based off of just stats it is not based off of just design either it's based off a combination of things meaning that it is <gasps> Opinionated, I know, right? So that means if you don't agree with it, then by all means, leave your own top five ghost type Pokemon in the comment section below. Now, when I do my top fives, I choose not to use any legendary Pokemon because I plan on doing a top five legends episode at the end of this season. But if your top five requires the use of legends, then by all means, go right ahead and use them. But without any further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this week's top five ghost type Pokemon. Yeah! Now, coming into the number 5 spot this week, as it did last week in our top 5 dark type Pokemon, is Spiritomb. I think this is one of the few times that we've ever, ever had a dual type Pokemon appear in both types, both types top 5. Oh my lord, it just happened to be in the same spot too, for the exact same reason, you know, he's he's got an amazing design, I love Spiritomb's design, it's fucking awesome, I love his backstory, you can see his Pokedex description on the screen, it's just when it comes to actually competitive battling, unless you get set up with a Spiritomb, it's really not the world's greatest, but still, I love Spiritomb, he's amazing, um, there was a couple really really close contenders that, that deserve a notable notable mention, we have Banet, Dusclops, Rotom, Golurk, and Aegislash, it was really, really hard, a lot harder for me this week than it was last week to finally come to the decision that Spiritomb deserves to be there. I just really, really love Spiritomb. I love his design. That's why he's number five this week. Same reasons last week. Claiming the number four spot this week, we have a ghost type out of left field. We have Miss Magius. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure. But I really, really like Miss Magius, especially in 6th gen, seeing it 6th gen sprite or model, whatever you want to call it. It's really got me to like Miss Magius a lot more just because of its design. It's so, like, it fits the idea of a ghost type so perfectly. And even though the Pokedex description on the screen doesn't really match it, a lot of um, the Pokedex description for Ms. Magius talk about like its cries bringing happiness to some people or something. It's not like your traditional ghost at all. But still, Ms. Magius just has that classic, like like when I think of a ghost, out of all the ghost type Pokemon that are in, that are in Pokemon, Ms. Magius fits the look the most for me. Like just imagine walking down a dark alley one night and a Ms. Magius just comes out of nowhere, just floats into your face. It would just scare the shit out of me. It just, it fits it so, so well and i think like just because of the hat like you could pair it with honchkrow too motherfucking ghost types ghost i mean ghost and dark type sisters and shit I don't, I don't know it's just amazing you know it's really really interesting how six gen and how me trying to get into competitive battling because i'm still new to it somewhat but it's really really interesting how six gen has changed my outlook and my perspective on some pokemon kafagragus being one of them he is now number three my third favorite ghost type pokemon because he eats the hits and of course he's great for a trick room team as well because I think his his base speed is like 30 or something like that so Kafagragus who was just this random ass coffin Pokemon from 5th gen turns out to be this amazing Pokemon when it comes to battling and honestly the more and more I use it the more and more I like his design his shiny not so much but Kafagragus is just look at look at that model how can you not like that model in 6th gen he's just amazing design and everything about him I love him in the number two spot this week, you guys, we have Chandelure, easily one of the spookiest Pokemon. Ugh, I just love it. I love it. I love it. Ghost types is easily in my top five favorite types. Just the, everything about ghosts is just how spooky they are. It's just, I love it. 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 But the fact that Chandelure is like this ghost chandelier. Like, I know that, that Pokemon sometimes uses um, inanimate objects as Pokemon and turns them into Pokemon and whatnot, but Chandelure, I think, is probably the best, what's the word I'm looking for here, the best example, I guess you could say, of an inanimate, inanimate object turned into a Pokemon, it just fits it so well, it fits it so well, it's just, it's creepy as shit, choice scarf in a competitive battle, and the motherfucker wrecks house in UU, my favorite tier, I love it, I love it, I love it, so Chandelure definitely deserves to have a spot on the top five 
uh, ghost type Pokemon. Was it on top five fire as well? I can't remember. We did that so long ago, but it is number two this week. And finally, coming into the number one spot, if you guys know me, if you know my channel at all, then you should have already seen Gengar being number one. Gengar is my favorite Pokemon. It is my channel's mascot. Gengar is love. Gengar is life. Gengar is just amazing. Everything about him, he's just purple, he's short, he's pudgy, he's round, he's got a mischievous grin on his face. Do we even need to talk about competitive? You see the Mega Gengar on the screen right now. They ban that motherfucker. He's in the Ubers. He's that good. I just love Gengar so much. Everything about him, he's, he's a perfect Pokemon in my eyes. He's a perfect Pokemon in my eyes. If you could have Pokemon come to real life, there are two Pokemon I'd want. Number one being a Gengar, just because he's like carefree and number two Dano just cuz he's like a little fucking puppy dog I get out like Dano but still Gengar is number one this week he's easily the best ghost type to me he's the best Pokemon to me hands down I love him I love him so much he's number one so there you have the people that wraps up this week's top five ghost type Pokemon if you enjoyed this week's top five make sure you smash the hell out of that like button down below for me because you already know that it is appreciated we've been doing this for so long and you guys have shown continuous support it is ridiculous ludicrous insert adjective here but still when it comes to next week's top five we have the choice between other top five psychic type Pokemon returning once again or a newcomer top five bug type Pokemon as well so share with us which one you would like to see for next week's top five share with us your own top five ghost type Pokemon in the comment section below as well and if you haven't already smash that like button for me as well but with that being said you guys I'm gonna say it again thank you for all your support we're almost 50 weeks strong 50 weeks strong. That's amazing. Thank you for all your support and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube 9.92. Uh, I'm out.